Welcome back to AM Buffalo. I'm Emily Lampa, and I am live now just outside the WKBW studios with Eddie. Now, Eddie is not a person, obviously. Eddie is a mobile cancer screening unit, and I am not the expert on what Eddie does, which is why we have Dr. Mary Reed. She's here right now inside Eddie. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you very much. For so having we're going to come inside and you're going to tell us all about why this was such an inspirational move by Roswell. So let's start right here. There's obviously some computer screens. Yep. This is supposed to be a mobile unit that can be taken out into the local communities, correct? And that's the whole point of it is to get lung cancer screening out to where people live. Yes. And so tell us about this pod it is it is no small thing i mean obviously we couldn't even bring it into our parking lot it is quite large but for good reason there's some really important equipment aboard yeah. what should we tell people about it and actually it's right behind joel so joel's going to swing around while we talk about it so uh we want patients to come on board we register them we get their schedule uh for the ct we collect a lot of information on them and then we escort them into the CT room. Yes. They can get a quick scan. It takes about three minutes mm -hmm. and it picks up really small lesions in the lung. And, you know, lung cancer is a deadly cancer, it kills more than all the cancer, uh, major cancers combined. And that's because it's diagnosed late because we're not making use of this great screening test. So, so tell we us want about that in terms of very specific populations, right? Right. We're trying to get out into communities where folks are maybe don't necessarily have the time to get a screening right. because they're working hard, they're trying to make ends meet, and so it's bringing the screening to them, correct? Right. So we want, it's hard to get to a place where they do low-dose CT, so we want to get there um, so they don't have to drive very far, they get an expert review, and uh, there's a lot of smoking. And so we really are targeting 50-year-olds who smoked for 20 years, who smoked within the last 15 years. They're eligible for insurance coverage, important, and uh, we make it really convenient. So we're gonna go to a lot of places within the city. We're gonna screen firefighters, and then we're going out into the northern and southern tier just to make it easy to get to, just like we do with mammography. Now, if there are folks out there watching right now, mm -hmm. businesses even, who mm -hmm. are saying, you know what, I would love for the folks that work here, because mm -hmm. we're all about health, uh -huh. to get screened, can they book Eddie to come out to their local businesses? Yes, absolutely. They just need to reach out to us and talk. And we've, you know, we're already finding businesses who want to screen their workers because it keeps them healthier. Um, so we have a QR code on the back of the unit. You can go to roswellpark.org slash Eddie, E-D-D-Y, right. early detection drives to you, and uh, or reach out to us to talk about coming to a company, which we've you know already started. We uh, really want to make this accessible. We know we're going to pick up early lung cancers that you can have treated and you can live for 20 years, and you know that's our goal. That is really, really it's important. Really I'm glad that you're sharing this information with folks so just to give people an understanding of how this works let's say I was a person coming through the door and I was like oh I need a screening I've never been screened before mm -hmm. but I had a history of smoking uh -huh. and I really think that now is the time for me to get checked what is the first step so you can't right now just walk up and mm -hmm. get a screening right. we, we want to schedule you we want to make sure you're eligible we want to make sure you know that everything is fine and then we put you on a schedule and you just walk up through the door uh, you get checked in by we're gonna have providers on the bus uh, and then you walk down and you get on the CT and it just takes a couple minutes it's a beautiful setup yes and then we will uh, have the CT read by radiologists and we'll call you and let you know if you need another scan in a year or if you need one in six months and so we really have a really great way to provide this in the community. We'll talk to their physicians. You know, we want people to be where they live to get screened, because that is the key. That is the key. And yeah. this has been a real collaboration within our community to oh, make this absolutely. happen. Can you speak absolutely. to that? Well, um, you know, first we got this from the governor. Um, and governor Hochul gave us the mobile CT unit, which is fantastic, yes. because she knew that in underserved communities like Buffalo, uh, they're not getting screened. Uh, we're collaborating with a lot of the federally qualified health centers, with the Buffalo Fire Department, you know, and again, we want to get to those folks who have a hard time uh, getting screened. So this is a way to do it. 
absolutely love this. And Dr. Reed, thank you so much for your time. Thank you so much for walking us through it. And if folks want more information, we're definitely going to put that information okay. on our website, the links, the phone numbers, anywhere you need to get this information to get Eddie to come out to your Great. local thanks business. For, so thanks, thanks so much. All right, we are going to toss it back to Mercedes, who's in studio with some more information for you right now. Yes, thank you so much, Emily. People get screened. It is very, very, very important. Eddie is very important to our community.